lovelies welcome back to my channel if you're new here i'm verdi welcome 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 today we are going to be reviewing mccart's pink and bling poly gel kit so first i'm going to be doing an unboxing and just talking about what comes in the package the first thing that i'm showing you is a six watt uv lamp and along with the pink theme the underside of it is pink so the nail embellishment part of it you do get these rhinestones you get dual forms as well as paper forms, and these are the glitters that come in the kit. Now, I reviewed this kit before. They did send me this to do for the Breast Cancer Awareness Month. You guys know I have been moving, all that stuff, so I'm a little bit behind, but nonetheless, I am here. So you get a file, you get the poly gel brush with the picker on the end, you get the top and the base coat, you get a slip solution, you get five poly gel colors and a clear. So um, this is all that comes in the kit. It is a very well-rounded kit. The only thing you're missing to do your nails is a um, prep. So these are the colors. Um, you guys have heard me say a million times before, McCart has one of the clearest poly gels that I've used. So um, definitely it is worth checking out this kit if you are into doing some pink designs. Um, I think it's a definitely an enhancement kit. Very, very good for that. But if you're just practicing, you just want a kit to practice, I would go with something more basic, more basic colors. Just my opinion. But if you want to do a lot of pink designs, definitely pick up this kit. And they do have their green, their blue, and their purple poly gel kits as well. So again, these are the colors and what I'm going to do today is I don't want to cut my nails. Um, hindsight's 2020. I ended up breaking too, so I should have just cut my nails anyway. Um, I didn't plan on leaving these on long, so I should have just cut my nails. So I'm going in with these non C curve extra extra long coffin tips and I'm applying them with Eden's Rose Rubber Base Coat. And the reason I'm doing that is because I do have a little bit of length on my nails. So I want that base coat to fill in the gap between the tip and my nails because my nails are not shaped the same as the tip. So I am just applying them again with the rubber base coat. I did size up a little bit because I am using gel. And usually when you put gel products on tips, they do have a tendency to shrink. Um, any overhang or anything like that will be cleaned up prior to applying the product. So that's the read. That was my reasoning behind <laughs> using the rubber base coat and the tips. But for the most part, I do prefer to apply my tips with rubber base coat versus glue. Um, so if you're finding you get gaps or your tips aren't lasting, definitely um, that is something to look into. So this is going to be a kind of a hybrid design. It's going to be acrylic and poly gel. So I wanted a really simple set. Um, I haven't really been doing my nails. Um, it's been a while, so I'm a little bit rusty. So I kind of wanted to just do something simple and not <laughs> shoot for the stars and miss. Um, so I just wanted to do something simple. The colors that I'm using is not polished nude panther and i'm also using their monomer as well so everything that i use will be listed in the description box below i know i'm kind of going fast over products but check out the description box below and any discount codes i have will be um, there as well so you can tell i'm a little bit rusty i typically do work in smaller beads for my acrylic but I usually get a little bit better of a blend. So I'm just making sure I have enough acrylic on this nail that when I go into file and even it all out, um, I have enough acrylic. So, and you can tell that on the next nail where I'm trying to do a cut out on that nail as well. Um, I did apply it a little bit thick because I wanted enough acrylic again, just to be able when I go in and file um, and smooth everything out. I just wanted enough acrylic and then I wanted enough acrylic so when I file that smile line, um, I have a like a little bit of a ledge. 
And you'll see that in a second when I'm applying the acrylic for the middle finger. So as I'm applying the acrylic, I know I want this to be um, a French, and so I'm trying to apply enough again so when I go in with the file and sharpen it up, I have a ledge to kind of rest my file against and just making sure that I have enough acrylic <laughs> to file. Um, yeah, don't judge my acrylic application, you guys. I haven't really been doing my nails a lot. Um, it's been a while <laughs> so that and you know I'm still figuring out acrylic anyway so do not judge me I did go in and I spent a lot of time filing filing and shaping these nails but at the end it all came out um, almost to what I was wanting Okay, so I've applied all my acrylic, I've shaped the nails, I've cut out that smile line, and I'm just going to go in with the poly gel on two of the French, and then I'm going to do one full nail of poly gel. I like to use base coat to apply my poly gel. For me, I feel like I get the poly gel smoother, and I just like the application a little bit better. Um, also... McCart, McCart's poly gel sometimes can be a little bit more on the stickier side and the temperature right now it's you know it's fall so the poly gel is a little bit stiffer so for me working with the base coat over the poly gel just gives me an easier time um, applying everything and I know that I have to put more base coat once the brush starts to stick to the poly gel I just put a little bit more base coat on it and then just continue with smoothing everything out and um, patting and smoothing everything out. So on this nail, I am going to be doing a full nail of poly gel and then the next nail I am going to be doing a cut out. So fast forward. <laughs> Essentially, I do not have any more footage after filing this. Um, after applying this poly gel. I'm not sure I didn't press record after I took everything out. I didn't record shaping the nails or anything like that. So my apologies. I thought I was recording and I wasn't. So <laughs> again, I'm a little bit rusty with everything. So all in all, I do like this kit. I already had the kit and then they sent it to me to review for um, breast cancer awareness month again like I said I'm a little bit late on that but overall I do like the kit I do like everything that comes in the kit I know I'm only using the poly gel and then the brush um, from the kit but because it's been a while since I did nails I didn't want to like over try and overachieve or just I just wanted to keep it really simple but I do like the kit a lot um, also what I use and you'll see in the final pictures I did use their gel liners and the one that I used was their glitter gel liners in champagne pop I will leave all that information in the description box below so definitely check out some of McCart's products um, I do have a discount code for them if you are interested 
but overall I do like how the nails turned out um, <laughs> I did have these on I was putting together my nightstands and my dressers and then I ended up breaking one of the nails in the shower which kind of defeated the purpose because I wanted to take these off and keep my the length of my natural nails so whatever guys um, <laughs> So let me know what you guys think of this set below and make sure you guys are staying tuned. I do have a 500,000 subscriber giveaway coming up and it is going to include some McCart Poly Gel. It may or may not be this kit or another kit. So definitely stay tuned and make sure you're subscribed for that. I'm going to be doing a really big giveaway for my 500,000 subscribers. So this is how the nails turned out. I really love this look. Like I said, I was going for something simple and I think I achieved that. I love the length of these tips. So let me know what you guys think in the in the comments down below. I'll leave everything I use in the description box below. Thank you guys so much for watching and I will see everybody again soon.